guys, I'm Angela with InfectiousMagazine.com and I am sitting here with Stephen and Nate from Anne Berlin and it is just an absolute honor to be here with you guys. Uh, before we start the interview, I have to ask Stephen a very kind of silly question, but you're always happy. You seem to be always happy and we <laughs> need to know, your, need to know <laughs> your secret to life. Um, I mean, I guess... You know, I think Nate would say the same thing. Just follow what you love to do. And I, th I mean, how can you be miserable, you know? <laughs> I mean, especially with our job, you know, because it's just, I mean, how many people get an opportunity to do this? I mean, there's ton there's millions of people in a bands around the world. And I think any one of them would, you know, trade anything to, you know, be where we're at. So how can I take any day for granted? So <laughs> try to be positive. Pressure. Um, what song or video do people tend to ask you the meaning behind most and which song do you think does not get as much recognition as you'd like it to? I think Finn gets the most questions mm -hmm. and then I think the most, uh, not the least recognition is probably Dance Dance Krista Pafkin because mm -hmm. I just think like it's just one of the best songs we've ever written yeah, and and people just kind of like, oh yeah. I mean I yeah, look at it like on iTunes, like as you can look at the sales, you know, as far as like what yeah. song like no from one, first yeah. of, and like it's always at the bottom and just like, what are these people yeah. smoking? <laughs> like, <I don't> <laughs> Well, so here's your chance. Tell us something about that. Tell us anything you want about that song, meaning, why it means so much to you. I, you mean Dance Dance? Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, I mean, just, I mean, I think that, like, it's just such, it's such a great song. I think it's, like, climactic, mm -hmm. and it's, I love the lyrics, and, and it's just, a, it's a very a witty song instrumentally, even. Like, mm -hmm. it's just a lot of, like, intricacies, and I don't know. It's just... It flows so well. I wish it wasn't an Amberlynn song, and I think I would listen to it all the time. <laughs> no, it's probably yeah, one of my favorite songs. It's one of my favorite songs we've ever done. That, yeah. Sure. Uh, what's your? But you guys never play that live, do you? We used to. Mm -hmm. If we're headlining, we'll play. We'll live. play it this fall if we probably, headline. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Someone was introducing their friend to Amberlynn. What song would you want them to show them that you feel would best sum up your style and sound? All. Oh, okay. um, um, this. It used to be ready feels, but I don't really know. Probably feel good, Drag. I mean, I know it sounds, <laughs> but I just think that it like it kind of sums up of what. Really? You think? I, maybe it's a little too heavy, or I like a little, a little too. Um, uh, maybe like a riffy, popier, yeah. yeah, something in between. Maybe like paper than him. Maybe. Yeah, okay, paper than him. Who knows? What was the first show you guys played as a band when you first getting started? Gainesville, Gainesville, Florida, in front of about sixteen people. Where <laughs> majority of those sixteen were um, the other bands. What a security, or not security, security, the bartender. Bartender. Yeah, I really did count 16 people. <laughs> <laughs> if either of you have tattoos, what was your first tattoo? Mm. Mm. I only have one, and it's on my lip. But that's the only one I have. Could show us. <laughs> See, I heard those rubbed off. Like, I heard they can rub off. There's, yeah, it's, if you don't smoke or drink, then it's not. Yeah, it just depends, because, like, yeah, some people, they, they say you should get a touch up like once a year, but I've had this for four years and it's like as dark as the day I got it. So that's the only one I, I don't know if I'll ever get any tattoos. That's sad. <laughs> Everyone, all the guys in the band have the same tattoo except me. Is that really? Yeah. Well, you gotta share that one. Yeah, that's a shame. Sorry about that. Maybe one day. Who knows? And this is my first one. I like it. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty excited about it. I still like it. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I think it's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. <laughs> are you guys are you allowed to show the story behind that, or do you want to keep that to yourself? Yeah, no, that's fine. It's a it's actually stands for Voice of the Martyrs. It's kind of like a an organization that um, you know people who have stood up for Christ and then died, and, you know, and then people, they kind of like not expose their stories, just tell their stories, like Fox Book of Martyrs or something like that. So I don't know. It's just always kind of like a constant challenge to like, man, people are out there dying for faith. You know, what am I doing? You know, I'm not. Even, you know, am I am I even living for mine? So. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you don't really have any embarrassing tattoo. That's good. I don't really like this one. Wait, really? what is it? What is it? I can't. Well, you I mean, got it's it not, now. It's, it's, it's my, Why don't you like my that girl's one? name, Julia Marie? That's but you don't sweet. like the key or what? It's just, it's kind of like this, and I wish now that it would have been like more inside Lower. my arm. I don't mind it because I've always wanted it going out sleeve. I don't mind it, but I always thought this stuff was weird. Because <laughs> I don't. So does <laughs> Julia. Well, it looks, it looks like you got bruised. It doesn't. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, when I'm I remember definitely when they were get. More. I'm definitely going to get yeah. more just so it kind of covers it up. Not covers it up, because I'm not going to cover it, but I just more to kind of take away from the attention. Yeah. Cool. You said, were you, now are you being serious when you said that they all have, everyone has the same, mm -hmm. what is that? It's uh from our first band, 
You can show them, it's not too nudely. It's not too much nudely. <laughs> so, this is... That's big. Yes. <laughs> So everyone and everyone it. got is it that big on everyone? No, no. no. The guitar player has it here. No, and then I'm, the, I'm the one with the most commitment. He's a brave one. Yeah. Oh, oh, I might get it. We'll see. Wow, on your ankle. On oh, my ankle. Real small. Nice Real small. Nice small. Nice small. Nice <laughs> no, I, I think I would like, get it. Tweet, tweet. I don't know. My mom would be so bummed. Up. But she won't see it. And you're, you're a tiny man. I'm just saying. How, how many times do you like wear? No, no shirt. No I would shirt. get. I get in the same spot. That big. I'd do that. All right, let's do it. We'll see. I'll pitch in ten dollars. Okay. <laughs> you want to do it yourself? You just do I'll it. try it. <laughs> With a little ink pen and a little knife. <laughs> Electric toothbrush. What's your most embarrassing moment? In life or with the band? In life. Oh man, that's a hard one. I don't know if I've ever thought about that. In life. In life, I can't really tell mine because this is really bad. <laughs> you never but, told it? Oh, oh I have. Oh, I probably did. So, in Toronto, well, this other time, um, wow, we were in, we were up in Canada, and I don't know why, but the um, amp, the monitors were set up like this, and so for some reason, I thought I could run up one and run down <laughs> the other. Well, I don't know what I was. Did you fall? I don't understand like how that the laws <laughs> of gravity I just forgot about. Also, did that so I went up on one and went. <laughs> just freaking fell right on my back and just laid there. And it was French Cana Canada. So French Canada. Canada. So I was like, how do you say you suck in French? And everybody everybody obliged. You suck. Like, for four or whatever they say. <laughs> for four. I don't Spanish? know. Spanish? French, yeah. They're French, Spanish, Canadian. One time I, I threw up on my snare drum once and I kept playing. But then remember that, that whole thing in Nashville? I just had a rough show. I like dropped like sticks and I ruined this off. That was embarrassing. Guilty pleasure. Mm. Guilty. I don't feel guilty about drinking like eight gallons of coffee every day, but <laughs> that would be a vice. It's more of a guilty yeah. pleasure. Guilty like pleasure. you like in sync. Uh, <laughs> no. um, that one Alicia Keys song. <laughs> Which one? I sing it by myself all the time. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. It's just when it comes on the radio when I'm driving, I drink it, sing it top of my lungs. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. What song like, is that? You and Me Forever, that song? Sing it. No. <laughs> That's a great song. Man, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I'll show it to you one day. Alright. What about your guilty pleasure? I'll say it was not my guilty pleasure. That new Lady Gaga song is <laughs> nuts. Yeah, yeah I, I can't can't stand her. her. That's the worst lyrics of all time. Who has not got this? Is it the disco? Yeah, that yeah. disco stick yeah. song. No, that, no, it's um, some about showing on my poker face. Oh, like, <laughs> that's not our new single. Oh, wait till you hear a new single. Oh, it It'll better? blow your mind. It's really, really bad. It's it how does it get worse though? I mean, no, that is a work. I, a like poker a face song was showing my <laughs> poker face. Bluffing with my muffin. Or about oh. That song? <laughs> I heard it in Ga I heard it, I think it was like in some mall store like Gap or oh, something no. like that. Yeah. And so I assumed it was like one of those like two bit songs, you know, just like, you know, yeah. well we can't put our they song anywhere else Gap. when we get on Gap. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> huge. Well yeah, I realized that and I was just like, You've There's gotta a, be kidding yeah, me. Her new one that will blow your mind. <laughs> That's not a guilty pleasure at all. <laughs> not a guilty pleasure. What's your favorite thing to do in downtime? Like when we're on tour or when we're home? Just at home. Relaxing. <clears throat> I like biking a lot. Uh -huh. No joke. This year, <coughs> this year I've just started gardening. Mm -hmm. I know it's funny, but I have six six pots and I have like tomatoes. And you think it's funny, but you try it. It's so much fun. I don't know. You just it's fun to go out there and water your garden and hang out. Let's stop, stop laughing. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> All right, fine. I think it's that so could have been like the guilty so like, pleasure yeah, too. Yeah, that, Listen, that no, like when I'm home in my downtime, I like sipping ride some motorcycles, sipping or some wine down by the beach with some good friends and a campfire. <laughs> we were just talking about intellectually. Oh at least I was honest. <laughs> hey, I like putting plants, and it's at least I'm I'm helping the environment. Yeah, Shut up. <laughs> I back it. All right. Just at the coffee shop, just with some friends, and we'd like to talk about Kierkegaard. <laughs> <laughs> 